Hi everyone, it's Jessica with the Foothills family here on YouTube. Today I'm sharing another Dollar Tree haul. Now this one is a little bit different. Recently I was on the OCC Facebook group, just one of the ones on Facebook that I follow, and someone had shared how they go to Dollar Tree often, and when they do go, they always try to stick to a budget of around $10 to $15. So this time when I went to Dollar Tree, I tried to limit myself to $15. So we're going to find out if I was able to meet the challenge and only purchase $15 worth of items for OCC. Let's see if I did it. And let's see also what I purchased. So first I was really excited to find these eggs. They're Easter eggs. But can you tell what they're in the shape of? They're little seashells. And I actually took one out. You get five. Comes in a set of five. And I just thought they were so cute. It's like an iridescent, kind of like a white color. And they're actually really sturdy. They're not like the really you know cheap, flimsy eggs that you get. They're very sturdy. I'm going to put most of these probably in my under the sea box. So I was really excited to get that. And I found this little matchbox car. I was looking for another one to put in one of my girl boxes. So I thought that was, you know, pretty girly. Had some pink in it and like a blue color. I thought it was really pretty. It says Dave Saltwater Taffy. So I did get that. I did pick up another one of those water bottles that I picked up the last time I was at Dollar Tree. I mentioned before that this container comes off. It's a snack container and that this lifts up. So and it is BPA free. So I picked up another one of those. And then I have purchased one of these also in the past. It's a hundred sticky pad, sticky tabs, and it has 25 sheets. And I just thought they're so cute. They're little sloths. I like how one's reading and one's eating ice cream and looks like one's getting ready to eat a cupcake and um, you can't see the other one, but this is what he's doing. He's hanging from a tree. It's just really cute. So I got that. It's kind of hard to see. Put that down a little bit. And then I thought this was a really good buy. I kind of wish I would have got more, but I um, was on a limit was on a budget, so I didn't, but um, I will probably go back and get more of these. This was paracord and it was 25 feet. I don't know, you know the strength of it, but I do know, I did look it up right before this video. Walmart carries this and I believe for $1.97, they carry um, and it's 18 feet of it. So this is a good deal. For a dollar, you get 25 feet of it. And like I said, I, I'm hoping to go back soon and get some more of this. I'm going to put this in my older boys boxes and they had several colors. I know they had like a hunter green, hunter green, a black, maybe an orange, but I know they had a few more of this color as well. And I like this. I like that it's a bright color. So I thought this was um, just a really useful item, something good to put in the boy, older boys box. I did find this foil puzzle. We'll be putting this in my, now I'm doing a Rapunzel box. If you saw one of my videos, I was able to find this really cute petite Rapunzel um, set. It's Rapunzel and Finn in a gondola, really cheap. So I'm gonna add this really cute little puzzle to that. And I did find another one of these little pins. This little guy is so cute. Little dinosaur. I like his little googly eyes. So I did get him. And I've had a hard time finding pencil sharpeners recently at, at Walmart. So I only got two of these pencils sharpeners. It says it's a sharpener and a eraser. And it's by the company Jot. I'm not familiar with these sharpeners so i just got two of them they didn't have a whole lot left but you know like i said i'm not familiar with these so i'm going to try one out and just see and hopefully my walmart will be getting some more in 
And Emily from Love in a Shoebox had shared these on her page. And I was really excited to pick this up. Um, it's a pack of three treat sacks and they're just really cute. They're almost like a canvas looking and they have the heart on them. And like I said, they have three of in there. So I did get one of those. And I got another one of those dinosaur coloring books from my other dinosaur um, shoebox I'm doing. So I did pick that up as well. And then for one of my nature boxes, I may put this in there. So I got this. Let's explore like the pictures. Lots of outside nature pictures in there. And there's the back. And I did find some stickers, just one pack this time. But I did find some sports themes, which I was like very excited for. They have some basketball and some soccer and baseball. So that's going to be fun to pack in a few shoe boxes. I don't know if you can see those. They kind of have like a, I don't know, like a hologram look to them. So I got that. And then I uh, only found one of these. Let's draw big machines. And um, I did notice on the bottom, it says that you have permission to reproduce the pages. So I may do that. I've never actually you know, done that before where I've printed off. And um, I know, I'm trying to think, Diana Ruth maybe has added like a folder and she'll um, do pages printed off, you know, from the internet, which is such a good idea and do like coloring pages that way. So I might do something like that before I add this to a shoebox. But I just thought this was really neat. How it has the, shows them how to draw different cars and like a rocket like you saw. Oops. There's a plane. So yeah, just different, different, uh, vehicles, modes of transportation, and obviously there's different ones in the collection, different books. I didn't see any um, when I was just looking really quickly. And then last, I saved my favorite find for last, and this is the first time I've seen these little dolls at my um, store. And it says they're three plus and they're good little size dolls. And the reason I got them, I picked them up and I made sure to move their hands. And I'm just going to put one down so I can show you. Um, they're heavy, so they have a good size to them. And they have another little doll that's about half the size of these. You might, if you're familiar with Dollar Tree, you might know what I'm talking about. And even though the whole little doll's plastic, like these are, it's not the best quality. So I just thought these were just so cute. And I like that their arms move. And even though they're plastic, they're, they're pretty good quality. And they, the two that I did choose had the best dresses. Um, the other ones, their dresses did not have the little lace on there. So that's why I chose these two. And I just thought they're so cute. And I'm going to put them in a box together. Um, Emily also mentioned from Love in a Shoe Box how she sends, um, I believe she was talking about Barbie dolls, but she sends Barbies together so they, you know, have more than one to play with so they can have a friend to play with. And I just thought that was such a good idea. And I, I don't know why I haven't thought about that before, but when I saw these two together, I thought, um, going to send them together so that the little girl would have a friend to play with, uh, would have two little friends to play with. I just think that's so sweet. So these are just, just precious. So, 
Did you keep count? Did I do it? Let me count right quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think I've got 15 items. Yeah, I think so. Did I miss something? 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, 15 items. Well, I think I did it. And I'll just say that was a little harder than I thought it was going to be. I had um, a few items in my, in my little basket I had to put out. So it really helped me to kind of hone in and, um, you know, just get what I really wanted to get. So that was a great challenge. And I think I might do that again. So maybe I'll issue that challenge to you all as well. Can you shop at Dollar Tree and only get $15 worth of items in the next week or two? If you can, let me know. Comment here. Even if you like to do videos, make a video and show us what you got on here. And before I stop recording the video, I just wanted to share these. Um, last year, I actually um, made these. These are homemade maracas, and um, we put these in our two to four boxes. And um, hopefully soon we'll be doing a video on these, uh, how we make these. So just stay tuned for that. Um, I don't know when it'll be, but... I just wanted to give you a heads up on that because you will need plastic Easter eggs, just the really cheap Easter eggs, you know, that you should be seeing soon in your stores, whether at Dollar Tree while you're out or Walmart, um, Dollar General, places like that. So if you see those and you would be interested in maybe making the maracas for your shoe boxes, um, maybe you can pick up a dozen of those or so. So each one obviously takes one egg. So uh, they're fun to do just to put one in your shoe box or if you want to put two. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a blessed day and we'll see you next time. God bless.